some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Everett, Washington, with the Goodyear blimp. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean the Goodyear blimp. I mean Shamu. I mean, no, I'm sorry. Uh, no, uh, not Shamu. Who was it? Uh, yeah, that's right. It was Glenn Serio, a.k.a. Auditing the USA, as he, well, attempts to file a $100 million LOL suit on the uh, mayor's office because he's a butt-hurt, frauditing moron. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's up, guys? We're here at the Everett Municipal Building, and we are going to sue Erica Bennett for releasing personal, private information that she did not have access to or she shouldn't have uh, disseminated to the public like she did. And there's the lawsuit. Let's see if these guys take the lawsuit. Well, I doubt you'll see a dime of that uh, lawsuit, uh, Godzilla, considering that uh, how much damage have you caused yourself by uh, stomping on the uh, buildings around here? I'm sure the... Uh, uh, city of Everett would be glad to see you gone, especially with all those damn earthquakes you caused in that area. And it's not the San Andreas fault line that's uh, responsible for this. It's not any other tectonic plate that would be. You got him to blame for it. Hello. Is there like a city administrator I can speak to? Administrator? What? What exactly are you looking for? Because this is just the city. Yeah, I'm looking for like the city administrator. The administration like the mayor's office on the 10th floor. Yeah, they have badges. I don't have access to the... Okay, so in the red phone in the lobby, you can call the um, administration office and ask to get a... You can't call someone down here? No. Okay. So Godzilla's stunt double stands around until uh, somebody walks by that uh, asks Glenn if they need help. And, well... It is somebody that could have helped Glenn, but uh, he dismisses him, even though this could uh, well have been one of the people that he needed to talk to anyway. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hmm. No, I'm still waiting for someone. Oh, cool. I have no idea. It's not very clear. Oh, what is it that you need? Um, who are you? I'm Christina. Who's Christina? I work here. What do you do here? I work for the city of Everett, for the uh, legal department. Oh, uh, okay, which, okay. okay. You don't need my help. Do you need my help? Uh, do you want to assist us or not? It's up to you. I'm just, I saw you standing here and I'm gonna head back up. I don't know, you seem like Are you recording me? You seem evasive, I don't really, oh, okay. really like the way this is going. Okay. Yeah, you seem really evasive, like you're. Okay. I'm <laughs> trying to help you. I don't know, I didn't feel so. Uh, dude, this person was from the legal department. They could have perhaps helped you out, but uh, they, you said they were being evasive. Oh, dude, whatever. But you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and skip forward a little bit because there's a nice little camera trick that I want to point out to you guys right before uh, Glenn's next interaction because it's a nice little editing trick that uh, I just so happened upon. It's, it's a blink and you'll miss moment, but you know, elevator doors don't fade away like that. You overlaid one piece of footage over the other to create that effect. I know I've done it plenty of times myself. So my question is, how long were you standing there waiting on these next two people to come out and uh, ask you any questions? So yeah, it kind of makes you wonder. Come on, buddy. Hi. Hello. Who's from the mayor's office? Uh, I don't know if I'm from Are them. you Glenn? Yeah, I'm Glenn. What can I do for you? Uh, he has some papers. Um, okay. So. Okay, hold on just a second. Yeah, no problem. So, this is um, small claims mediation, and this is district court. Snohomish County District Court, which is across the street. I know where that's at, yeah. Okay. I'm so very well, I'm very well versed with 
the whole layout here. Unfortunately, okay, so I've been drugged through the system since I was uh, one years old. So. Okay. So, <laughs> so why are you giving it to us? That's um, you have a crimes analyst named Erica Bennett, and she has released very sensitive information. Um, my social security number, my driver's license number. So at this point... So are you trying to serve something on Erica Bennett? Is well, you've, you've been served on her behalf because you work for the city. But Actually, you're incorrect. And, and although you're well-versed, so am I. So we're going to pause for just a second. I understand your frustration and I, your concerns. Again, let me finish because I let you finish. Mm -hmm. And so I am asking you what this document is. That's what I asked just now. Uh -huh. If you are trying to serve Erica Bennett, it would go to our legal department. Well, your legal department. I am what? not legal department. Hold on just a second. Is that what you're trying to do? I'm asking She that walked question. right past me. The legal department she walked past She came me? up to me and says, a man. A woman. His name is David Hall. A woman, a blonde woman, about this big, came down here about five minutes earlier and said that she was with the legal department and she wanted to know if she could help and then she went up the elevator. But a lie of omission is still a lie. Yeah, that's definitely another lie of omission with Glenn right there, considering that he did talk to her, she did offer help, but he refused her help, considering that basically he didn't trust her. I mean, come on now, Glenn. Uh, the camera doesn't lie, but you do. I choose not to answer, sir. But shut up, Wesley. Okay, so is... Is this what you're trying to do? You're trying to serve Erica Bennett? You've been served. I'm sorry. Okay, you can just keep repeating that. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yep. I can tell you that technically it wouldn't be considered... I can tell you that your crime analyst, Erica Bennett, is being sued for $100 million. Okay. She released a bulletin with my social security number on it. She gave it out. I have the corresponding emails to prove it, who she sent it to. She disseminated... Private information, Thank you, so much. you have to pay for that. I don't have to pay for it. Thank you. The city of Everett does. Snowbridge County does. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Joe. I see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> they think it's okay to release your social security number. <laughs> they just act like it's, like it's a normal thing here. They don't understand the FBI is investigating them. You know, I really don't think that the FBI has any time to investigate small claims coming from small-time hoods like you, small-time frauditors like you. I mean, come on now, dude. The FBI has much bigger fish to fry. In the grand scheme of things, uh, Mr. Godzilla, sir, you are not exactly important. So, yeah, I doubt that you'll get any money whatsoever from that uh, LOL suit. So, good luck with that, dude. You're gonna need it. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, sexual blah, 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 You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. That sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the, um, the, uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. You want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. 
That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. Also. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Chill, Why? I've been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys were arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. <laughs> Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Cause you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.